Hello everyone and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, make sure you click on the subscribe button to subscribe for the latest tutorials in Photoshop. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to create a YouTube banner for your channel. So let's get started. Now to create a YouTube banner, you have to go to file and you set a new project. So you go to new and then you make sure that you have this one in inches and you set the width to 8.533 and the height to 4.8. Make the resolution 300 so that it will be highly resoluted. When you are done, you click OK. Now, after clicking OK, you will have to see something like this on your screen. Don't worry, you're going to fill it up with so many things. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to divide this particular project into two because YouTube do not take the whole size of this one. It will take only some half or a part of this whole thing. So we are going to do that by using the rectangle tool. So select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle about this size, something like this. So after creating the rectangle tool, you can just right click here, left click sorry, and then you can change the color from here. Later on, I'll be changing my color like that. So to make sure that this one is in the center of the whole project, you have to press Ctrl A, Command A if you are using a Mac. And then you go here and you align horizontal and align vertical. So after aligning, you will have to see that from this point to this point, they are the same. And from this side to this area, they are also the same. After that, Control D to deselect. Now, we're going to change the color once again. And then I'll go, I'm going to set this color to 09-0057. And then I'll click OK. Right, so I'm going to create another rectangle in the middle of this one. So something like this. That is where we're going to insert our name. So we get something like this. And then we can change the color from here to A0CBFF. So I'm going to get something like this. And then I'll press Ctrl A2. Align that one to in the center. All right, so I have this now, and then I can position it very nicely. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a logo to or something like that. So I'm going to add a Photoshop logo since I do mostly Photoshop tutorials on my channel. So I will add a Photoshop logo here. And then I'm using Ctrl T to resize my logo like this. So you press Ctrl T to resize it. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a channel name. So what is your channel name? So my channel is Innocent Keyboard. And to do that, I press on the T on my keyboard or I select this particular tool over here. So we are ready to type, but I'm using a font called Helvetica Inserat, and I'll include that in the description box below. So when you're done, just type your name and then. All right. So mind you, you can change the color from this particular area here. You can change the color to any color that you want, red or something like that. All right. So when you are done, just place it in the middle and then you can press Ctrl T to resize your name, so something like this. But I don't want the white color, so I'm going to change this color to the background over here so that it will be something, yeah, it will fit it very nicely. So you can see it from anywhere you are. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, what do you do on your channel? So we're going to add another test and then we'll change the font from this to TW Sense, but I like the condensed one. I'll include that in the description box. Don't worry. 
so what do i do on my channel basically i do photoshop tutorials so you can't see it because the color is still blue so i'll go ahead and change the color to white and then you can see what i was writing okay so photoshop tutorials and tech tricks so that is all what my channel is about so i can increase or i will adjust it and then i press ctrl a to center it all right so i have my channel name set and i have what i do on my channel also set the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add my social media links to it. So I'll go to file and then I'll place my Facebook logo. I'll add the names to it later. So I will adjust it and then I'll place it at the left side of this whole thing. So some, somewhere here. Now I'm going to make use of this ruler here to make sure that they are in line. So I'll bring the ruler down here and then I'm going to file and place my Instagram logo or the Instagram logo. Sorry, it doesn't belong to me. I know that. Forgive me for that. So I'll place that one to over this area and then I'll. Yes, so you can see that uh, the purpose of the ruler that I set was to know that this one the two they are in line all right so let's go ahead and add a test to it so i'll choose the test tool and then i'll change the font to a font called daniela so if you are if your name is daniela a hi to you so i'll add the test to it um facebook.com forward slash inographics so this is my Facebook page, um, uh, the link to my Facebook page. So you can just increase it uh, like this to fit your banner. All right, so I'm going to change the font. All right, so it's 14.47 and that's okay with me. Um, so I'll press Ctrl J on my keyboard and I'll copy it to the other side of this thing and then I'm going to change this one to Instagram just come for slash say innocent so that is my Instagram account so you can just take your time to do this very nicely you can make the adjustments make a very nice correction to it so this is what we have currently but as a youtuber you always have to remind yourself your viewers to subscribe to your channel right so we're going to add a very simple subscription notice over here so I'll select the rectangle tool and then I'll draw a rectangle a very small one over here and then I'll change this the color to red let's zoom in and then add a notice to it so you can position it somewhere around this place and then add a test to it say Let's change the, the font to a vertical inside right? so that it will be bold enough for everyone to see. So what I want to add is subscribe for more tutorials. So please, if you are watching this tutorial and you are not subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe for more tutorials. So I'll just place it in the box and then it has a very nice subscription notice to your banner so everyone looks at it and you remember to subscribe all right so the last thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to select the rectangle to here and then i'll add a small rectangle at this place i'll change the color to this color over here and then i'll right click and select create clip masking so that it will be you see this arrow here it means that it's directly into this rectangle so i'll press ctrl t and then I'll rotate it a little bit, something like this. And then I can place it here. And I'm done with a banner. So basically, this is how to create a very simple um, banner for your channel. If you if you just started your YouTube channel, this is how you're going to create a simple banner for yourself. 
so after doing all these things you can go to file and then go to save and you can save in so many formats you can save in tiff um, PXD, PNG and then JPEG so um, YouTube basically likes or takes JPEG and PNG so I'll save my work in PNG and I'll give it a name say YouTube banner and then I'll place it on my desktop and click on save so you click OK and your banner is ready so we can go to the desktop and we find our banner over there so that is how to create a YouTube banner for yourself I hope this tutorial was very helpful and if it was I hope you give it a like and you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorial that is here so subscribe for more tutorials and um, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video bye